Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Our next topic is about body mass index. When the body composition is systematically measured, the quantitative means to do this is through the body mass index or BMI. This quantitative measure is based on the person's weight in relation to his or her height. Body mass index measures body composition methodically in reference to a person's weight and height. To calculate the body mass index, an individual's weight in kilograms is divided by height in meters squared or kilogram divide meters squared. The National Institute of Health uses BMI in place of the conventional height overweight charts to categorize persons into normal weight, overweight, and obesity. This means that a very muscular person can get high BMI results, but it does not necessarily mean that the person faces health risks. Chen et al. 2020 found out that overweight and obese students had poorer performance in sit and reach, standing long jump, pull up, and sit up. To monitor your body mass index, try to calculate using the formula. BMI is equals to weight over height, or BMI is equals to kilogram over meter square. Keep in mind that the body mass index calculation is used to screen the general population for health risks related to having too much body fat. This is not a tool that works well for most athletes who are curious about their own body composition that includes lean mass and fat mass. The reason why BMI is used for screening the health of the general population is due to the strong correlation between obesity and health difficulties, serious diseases, and untimely death. Overweight or obese people have high chances of acquiring the following health conditions, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, osteoarthritis, cancers, sleep apnea, and respiratory problems. So I encourage everyone to please monitor your body mass index.